So I know it has been so long since I've created a YouTube video since I've moved to Florida. We are here in Florida. Beautiful, we just got through Hurricane Adalia. Um, it was my first hurricane. I was kind of full of anxiety about it. My intuition knew, I, I just knew it would be okay. Now we're back, everything is good. But today's video is all about how to heal your inner critic. So if you're like me, maybe you've done a crap ton of healing on your inner critic. So my inner critic would always be so hard on myself for maybe little things like, oh, why did I just say that? Or I shouldn't wear that, that makes me look this way. Or it would just really attack me, you know, um, throughout my teenage years. But when I had my spiritual awakening and connected to God, source, divine, however you wanna phrase it more, that is when I began to heal and create these healing habits and techniques that have helped me really heal my inner critic. So let's jump right in. So the first tool, is understanding that you are a soul with a God-given purpose and you live beyond this lifetime. Your body is literally almost like a cute little spacesuit on this earth while you're inhabiting it. Now, of course, maybe you're asking Amanda, how do you know this? So it's through proof. It's through proof of reading different data that has just summed up to me seeing that, oh my gosh, we are a soul living a divine purpose. So. One of the biggest pieces of data is near-death experiences. I want you guys to look these up. They're experiences where people have died and then literally have had similar visions of what the beyond looks like, which is really neat. And the thing that really got me was this one story I heard of this one person who was blind, literally since birth, who had a near-death experience and could literally see the hospital building from when they were on their deathbed and they came back and then said what they saw without even having seen what the hospital looked like because they were blind. So that is huge. The second one is through understanding. Now that we know that we live beyond this lifetime, it's understanding that every single part about you is made on purpose. So this is even biblical. So God even says before you were born, God knew you. So God knows every single part about you. He gave you every single gift that you are created with. So it's really important to understand that it's not just, you're not just put together just to be here. You have gifts and desires for a reason. Desire in Latin also means of the father, which is God, your father. That is another sign. Where the inner critic can stem from. So with a lot of my clients, I do a lot of intuitive, energetic healing work on them, but also it's a lot of it is neuropathic. So we can shift the energy of our minds by understanding where trauma can come from that has made us criticize ourselves a lot and be hard on ourselves. So while we, while knowing that we are divine souls living a temporary lifetime to fulfill a grand purpose, it's also important to understand that childhood trauma can be a source of our inner critic coming out. So if we've had maybe a really critical mother or a really critical father, it may have made us have a little miniature version of them in our head coming at us and being hard on ourselves. So the way to process this is through meditation. Meditation is huge. Envisioning what they made you feel like growing up and understanding asking the divine to to come through to show you that you don't have to be so hard on yourself so whenever i meditate i always declare that only god source light whatever word resonates is present and then i ask for healing and it's amazing how much healing can come through when you think about the trauma and then set the intention to process it and heal it so it's important to establish limiting beliefs that may have come from the inner critic when you were a kid so maybe you had mom or dad tell you that you're not good enough at this or you don't look good enough or something like that. These are just examples. We are going to feel them and then release them and then replace them with positive beliefs of I'm born enough, God made me enough in every way, shape and form. I look amazing. Every single piece of me is of the divine. God lives with me and I am in God's image and likeness. All of these positive beliefs are now gonna be replaced. So this is obviously a long process to go through with healing, but this is a way to begin healing the inner critic if you feel like it stemmed from inner childhood trauma. While our parents did the best with what they knew and with the consciousness that they were at, 
not everybody's childhood is perfect. So a lot of inner critic can stem from inner childhood trauma from mom and dad, but it's always healable. And then another step in healing your inner critic is sitting with yourself in meditation and asking your inner critic, why are you so hard on me? That's huge, right? And then emotions and feelings will bubble up. So that is where I've learned that my inner critic has always wanted to be good enough for my mom, believe it or not. I've had healing around my mom that I've needed to do because my inner critic said in the meditation, like I want to be my best for my mom, which is really cool, right? Um, but then I've had to do a lot of healing around like I'm enough as I am, like mom's proud of me, like she sees me, you know? So that is an example from my healing that I've had to do, but I've had to do a lot of father wound healing as well, but that's around other areas of my life. But inner critic, definitely when I asked my inner critic, what was the trigger for the inner critic wanting to be perfect all the time? And it was me just wanting to be perfect for my mom, which is really cool, right? So I hope that these little tips, tricks, tactics, healing methods, can help you transform your life and be at the highest consciousness, at the highest frequency version of your mind, spirit, and body today and throughout every day. And remember, healing is never a perfect straight path. It's always a spiral going up or a roller coaster going up, ups and downs. And every single step you take will make you heal. It's not about perfect days or healing and working on this work every single day. It's all about when you pick up where you left off and just continue with your healing work. And all of those little times that you journal write, you meditate, you do the brain reprogramming, you expose your mind to hot, positive, healthy things, all of those times, they truly do add up. So from my heart to yours, so much peace, love, and gratitude. And I hope you guys have an amazing week.